you know, you mentioned you got into it with Ving Rhames, but there was like three physical altercations with Ving Rhames during the course of rehearsals. In the rehearsals, yeah. I mean, like I said, the first, I wouldn't say three. It was because you don't you know, touch a man too fucking much, dude. The first time I just remember that I was so, at, you know, in his face with it that I remember we fell down. And I remember thinking, oh, he ain't that strong. That's what, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I, what do you do? Blah, blah, blah. Because he's sitting there like, man, if you don't knock it off. But I was fully, you know, I was motivated. I was mad as hell. So I felt like I got the better of him the first time. And the second time, he was just like, all right, man, enough is enough. Let me <laughs> show your little ass now, you know. Uh, but yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. Uh, and, you know, you had some, some very classic scenes in there. Mm-hmm. You know, like the whole scene of when you were in the house, y'all like, some unstable ass creatures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna call y'all bitches. Right. I'm gonna call mm -hmm. y'all creatures. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's the whole scene of you trying to sell a dress. Mm. The worst salesman ever. Ever, yeah. <laughs> he had her for a second and then messed, second, it all messed it all up. Like Tyra Banks. He's like, okay. And you know, there's the whole, uh, yeah. what are you good at? Robbing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, when uh, Jody gets robbed, where he gets beat up, yeah. he gets jumped for, yeah. for his bike. Yeah. Uh, I'm stepping out. Some you guys, yeah, you guys ended up lining the kids up and yeah. just punching them in the face yeah. one after another. And you yeah. ended up actually whooping the last kid with a belt. Whooping the last kid with a belt. Yeah, in rehearsals, I actually hit him with the belt a couple times. He yeah. had to come to my trailer and say, excuse me, uh, bro, can you not hit me for real with that? But look at these whips you left on the side. And they actually went out and got a fake belt for us to use, a foam belt. Looked just like a belt. So for the rest, I, was, I didn't have to pull nothing because it was just... But uh, yeah. Yeah, and then at the end, you end up actually killing Snoop Dogg. Yeah. yeah. That get awkward sometimes, y'all hanging out like, <laughs> damn, I'll fucking kill me. <laughs> what you here for? I don't want to hang out with you. Ah, that's funny. <laughs> that's some funny shit. And you know what's funny? I've worked with Snoop a bunch of times since then. Hmm. I mean, a bunch of times. I did a series called Playmakers for ESPN, and everybody wanted to be on this show. When I say everybody, they were like, yo, 50 Cent want to come on and do the show. But this was before his... Uh, acting career really took off before he even made his own movie. But I was like, but that's 50 Cent. Let him come on. I remember saying, why? Ain't, why? And they're like, well, they don't think he'll this, he'll that. I'm like, well, I mm, regretted that shit. And then Snoop called and said he wanted to be on and he, he actually did an episode where he played my brother, which was funny as hell. But, uh, but I mean, it was dope. It was dope. He did a good job. He's always been um, very professional and good. He like knowing his lines, it, it, it amazes the shit out of me. I actually wound up doing a play called Redemption of a Dog for Snoop. This ran like uh, a couple years ago. We went and did a little tour for about six months. And that was, that was, again, another long interview. But the boy up here, the memory on this man, he's like, oh, well, I'm a rapper. Of course I remember. I was like, okay. I was like, put it like that. And he made us all step our game up. 